Uh, back up here at Western Iowa Tech uh, in the dining room still. Um, we are not. We ran the bike, the CMX 250C uh, Honda Rebel through a one heat cycle, just sitting there unloaded. Um, we now have it all set up on the dyno, and we're going to run it through a loaded stage, loaded heat cycle, to help break in the ring, get everything broken and seated real nice. So that way, uh, when we give, we give it back to the customer, it's good to go. We don't shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, to break this in on variable load, we're going to run it, run it up through all the gears, and bring it back down, and load it back up again, just back and forth for a little bit. Get into a medium gear, right? Uh, probably around third gear, and just run it up through the higher RPMs, bring it back down, run it through the higher RPMs again, just get it all nice and warm, everything uh, broken really well. Um, again, up here, the safety of our issue we have our fans on our motor, we have our exhaust fan, we have hearing protection, and our uh, safety glasses to make sure that if anything goes wrong, we're, we're protected. So, turning that over to a customer after you get done uh, with this break-in process? After I get done with the break-in process, I, I'll feel real confident on uh, turning over to the customer so that way and making sure that they know what I've done and the proper way to um, keep, you know, make sure so they ain't gonna do anything that's gonna hurt it right off the bat. Sure. So is there any instructions that you'll end up giving your customer when they come pick up the bike? Um, after a break-in like this, I'll just tell them, you know, for the first you know, 100 miles or so, just easy riding, nothing real hard, just to kind of give a little extra time to break in. And, um, do you think this uh, adds a little bit of insurance to your work, that you just confirm that the work that you did was quality work and maybe prevents comebacks? Oh yeah, I, I feel doing, doing a break-in period will definitely put insurance on there so that they don't come back for that, that kind of problem. Okay, not everybody has access to a dyno. So let's say that uh, somebody did their own rebuild, they're watching our videos, they learn how to uh, overhaul their own engine, they overhaul it. Um, how could you describe to them to do a proper break-in on their own work after they get done and they don't have access to a dyno? Um, the f one thing I would suggest would be to run it through you know, two, three, four heat cycles, warm it all the way up to operating temperature, then let it cool down and repeat the process you know, a few times. 
So we talked about, yesterday we talked about starts and stops, and that if you're out on a, a drive on your motorcycle, starts and stops automatically vary the load on the engine, so it's a gr actually a pretty good way of, of uh, breaking it in. Air-cooled motors being conscious about making sure you keep an air flowing across the motor, uh, therefore the fans uh, in here, but outside, um, not putzing around a parking lot to break yeah. it in, but, but being moving. Good. That's awesome. Uh, I want you to write a summary, just bullet statements on a whiteboard. We'll give these guys a visual summary of, of proper braking. Right, um, we're going to summarize uh, what we just did with the Rebel on, for the braking procedures. Um, we did one load, one unloaded run on there, which is basically run a uh, heat cycle, heat the bike up to running temperature, let it cool back down, check over for leaks, any uh, other problems that it could have had. Then we went through and ran a loaded cycle a couple loaded cycles on there, which is we put it on our dyno, had the exhaust fan and everything going on there. Um, for that, you know, we checked the bike over before we got it on there just to start it up. Um, got the bike going, warmed it up, got it up to an operating temperature. <coughs> Ran it through the gears, uh, from the bottom gear to the top gear, uh, several times just to make sure everything's working properly, get everything looped up and all that. Um, I put and I put the bike into the middle gear, which is third gear on this one and ran it from a low RPM, uh, roughly around 3,000, up to a higher RPM, around 8,000 8, to 8,500. Um, after, after that, shut the bike down, checked the bike over, made sure there's no leaks, no problems with it. Then, um, the purpose of running it through a loaded cycle is to, you know, seat and mate all the parts that we replaced and repaired, put them, get them all seated back together the way they're supposed to be. The, pur the purpose of doing the break-in procedure is for the mechanics aspect is to add insurance that he, and his, his work that he done it right. That way when he does get done with the bike and can deliver it to the customer, it gives the mechanic more confidence in that it's done right the way it should be. Then he can again educate the customer as, as to any additional things that can be done or should be done. That way the customer can keep the bike as long as he you know, wants, keep it in good running condition so there's no other problems. And thank you all on YouTube for watching um, from Western Iowa Tech Power Sports. There will be more videos to come. <laughs> <laughs> um.